Dude, hey, good day guys and girls, my name is Private Cookie, also the same, and today we're going to be continuing RimWorld. Now, last episode we did get a little base camp set up, but now we're going to be continuing to expand. Now, I have got a lot of tips from the last video from the comment section below, and I'm hoping that I can put them to good use today. The first one was to actually build in this little, what would you call it, cave, outdoor cave. That's got two geothermal steam geysers. And yeah, it's not mine into the mountain because something called infestations can happen. Which is basically just like a just a whole bunch of bugs coming out of the ground and then you have to deal with them behind your defenses, which isn't too good. But for the time being, I think I am going to be just building some bedrooms indoors because the warmth from the mountain is going to be quite useful because it's going to get to negative 40 degrees Celsius. Now, I did get a few comments from the last video as well to add in a, another mod that also says the Fahrenheit. So I'm going to be doing that right now in three, two, one. Bada bing, bada boom, two degrees Celsius, 36 Fahrenheit. Now I get to see what Fahrenheit is. Look at that, 15 degrees in the air, 58 Fahrenheit. As I call asleep through the night, we get a foggy rain, which is going to increase the humidity, it means more warmth. Now, I seem to have forgotten that Biscuit is a night owl, so we're going to have to set up his schedule to accompany that. So, if we go to Bio, Night Owl. Okay, so you sleep at 11 to 18. Okay, so let's go Biscuit, 11 to 18. And then you will do whatever during the day. Actually, let's set up like a proper schedule. Four hours seems good with two little rest hours, maybe another four. Ooh, what if we go 5-5, five, five, like so, like that, and then maybe a recreation error at the end. Okay, that is set up. No, 4, where have I gone wrong? Oh, there. Okay, cool. So now Biscuit, in theory, should go to bed when it turns... Oh, I'm all off track. 11, and it is 5 currently. Looks like he's just going to keep on mining. Looks like the only colony's actual project is mining. Yeah. Okay. Um. We want to build instead of mining. But steel is a pretty hard resource to come by. Any resource really is hard to come by. Yeah. Oh, see? If we build, then we're safe from infestations. But then we use so much resources that we could be using elsewhere. Got a thousand steel, fifteen wood. Wow, no, 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 that is not good. We need to chop wood. Once the snow starts covering this place, we are not gonna have wood. And if we do not have wood, we cannot build out of it, obviously. So I'm just gonna chop down a lot of wood. Like a lot of wood. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure. I'm not sure about how I feel building outside instead of just mining. Maybe we should do both. So we're able to secure where the underground areas are. That could be interesting. Let's chop out all of this. These spare granite walls just sitting there. And then we'll remove... Where's the remove floors? Remove floor. We'll move those as well. So yeah, I think we'll just build out the mountain. Calamander is going to continue to research. What are we researching? Hydroponic. That's right. So we can get food. Power would also be nice to get up and running. But I think we'll get power to move into here. In the... I don't know what to call it. Valley? Yeah, valley. That was good. It's still raining. It's been raining for a, a day and a half. We've got six wood. How did we lose wood? What are we doing? Oh, we've built that door. Okay. How about we get some walls? We'll make a hallway. It's like this. Place another door here. And then we'll make this our kitchen. So we want two parts to our kitchen, one for the butcher table and one for the stove. Because the butcher table, where is it? There it is. It actually gives us negative cleanliness, and that means that we'll have poison food, and we don't want that. So we are going to isolate the two. We'll have our butcher table. Oh, actually, actually how are we going to do this? Oh, I actually don't know. Um, um... For, you know what, for the time being, let's just build a room. Alright, I'm going to go to 12 here. So, a big open room. Then we can put another door on the other end. And that means we can now chop out here. Yes. Alright, cool. 
speed the day up, and looks like Biscuit is still hauling in the wood. Which is good. It's very good. And then he's going to go to sleep when Calamander and Useless are going to be working. Which is alright. But yes. Let's pull these out, these chunks. Alright, so now Calamander is going to work on this new part of our base, and it looks like an eclipse has hit us. One of the moons of this planet has orbited in front of the sun. An eclipse has begun. Basically just, well, solar panels aren't going to work. We don't have the benefits of the sun. And, you know, that's fine. It doesn't really affect us in any way. We don't have solar panels. And Kelman's going to keep building these walls up. We want to get some flooring. Flooring. That's very useful. Oh, here's an idea. So how about... Let's put this at one speed. Let's get out our planning tool. We have a kitchen here. Like, I don't know, somewhere. This is our main room for, like, eating and stuff. And then we have our fridge for, like, food and stuff up here. And then we have one way the, um, cook is able to get in there. And then the other way everybody else eating is able to get there. So they don't have to go through the kitchen. That actually sounds like a good idea. I'm going to do that. So, let's actually... Do I want to put the butch table in a different room? It's just a nuisance, really. Um, okay. So... That's one. Put a door there. And then four, five. Okay. And then we'll make our fridge there. And I'm actually going to make it so you have to go through two doors to get to the fridge. And that's for a good reason. Basically, you can't you can't let like let the heat out while you're going in there. So it works as just like an airlock. And we'll put in that last door. And break down these steel walls so we can bring ourselves out to here. Um, I don't think we have to w put walls down this side here. There's no real point. Plus more space. Alrighty. Useless. Do I want you making bedrooms? Or... Oh, not too sure. We need to go a long way to put our dumping stop past. Let's just make another one here. We just have to go too far. Let's delete that one too. I want to start to move into this new area. And for the time being, I'm going to make this a stockpile zone so we no longer have to go there. While Biscuit is hard at work with hauling out these stone chunks, Calamander and Useless are fast asleep. Now, he's got a lot of stone chunks to haul out, but he should be done by the morning. And he goes to watch the eclipse. Scratch that, he's not going to have it done by the morning. Although he is coming back to his work. What's that food looking like? 20! 20! 20 divided by 3, divided by 2, oh gosh, um, 10, we've got about 4 days of food, I believe, I think. Can we make this stockpile here, low priority, and then get everybody to haul, please? I just want to get these out of here. No, 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 no. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Don't hold those out just yet. I, I, I want to get our s stuff moved in. Let's get our stuff moved in. We need it moved in. Beast can't stop sleeping. <laughs> it's actually a nice temperature outdoors. How? It's 20 degrees. I thought it was supposed to be permanent winter. But it's actually really nice outside. Yeah, there it is. Low food. We have two days of food. Which means, let's get a production here, butcher table, and an electric stove. Now I'm going to get an electric stove, so we can get some power going, because I think I do want to get some power going over here. And everybody's stargazing. You know what? Screw your recreation hours. I need to get stuff done. Ooh, a psychic soothe. Every colonist of the male gender smiles with contentment. Looks like Randy Random is giving us quite a lot to start with. It's, it's kind of scary. Okay, just had to double check we were playing it on rough. This is not rough. This is very, very peaceful. He's going to hit us hard soon, surely. Surely. Nothing's happening. Alright, I'm actually going to designate our food storage here. And I'll make that critical, so they put food in there more than anything. 
Do not allow rotten food. Put all food in there. Plus our medicine. And then put some animal corpses in there as well. So we don't have to go as far to butcher. Stop eating our food! <laughs> oh my gosh. Please stop eating our food. We're gonna run out. Okay, I need Kalman to start building roofs. There he goes. Or she, whatever it is. That's going to get me for the entire series. <laughs> nice. Now, can I get you to work on that, that, and that? Just so we can secure our food. One, two, and three. Now our food will not deteriorate. Very nice. And let's get some power going. Wind turbines. Let's get them going. Let's get two here. That'll be good. Now we need a battery room as well. Um, uh, we'll just get a temporary one for now. We'll put that like back here. This looks good. Nah, nah. That's not safe enough. It's not close enough. Let's just go... Build a roof four here, and then we'll place two batteries there. And then we can get some power conduits coming from our wind turbines down into the batteries. And then coming across and down. Look at that. Perfect. I did a bit too many power conduits, but that's fine. Doesn't really matter too much. Still hauling stuff in. We need to get food going. We've got two bars of food. Oh, my bad. Seven. The biscuit haul is hauling five. This is a problem. Problem indeed. Okay. Let's actually get some hunting going of the female gender so they don't fight back. Just two elks will be fine for the moment. Let's go to our butcher table here and set up a build to butcher creature forever. And then we'll go to our electric stove. Let's cook simple meals until we have... 20, not 110, 20, and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make them, instead of taking it to the stockpile, I'm going to make them drop it on the floor, just so they are faster. No, no, we probably need to take it to the best, yeah, we do need to haul that stuff in. Alright, Kalman, you need to be building, what are you building? Power conduits? Okay, sure that works. And now the wind turbine is going to start getting built. Here are the components. Kalman, where are you going? You're hauling wood to a door. But those doors don't matter! We're not even using that area. Oh my gosh. Sure. Build these batteries. One and two. And now to build the wind turbines. We're about to have power! Power! Hey! We have power! Our electric stove is being powered. And I'm gonna get some torches. Well, not torches, but like lamps. And boom! Power! Who's our cook? Biscuit! Can you start cooking? Uh, well, we haven't hunted anything. Who's on the hunt? Calamander. Uh, Calamander, you need to start hunting. Aren't you supposed to hunt? Yes, good. And then Biscuit will have something to stock up on. Now let's go to our stockpile here and get rid of animal corpses because we want them being brought in. Boom! Biscuit just cooked one! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. An elk is attacking after being harmed. It will hunt any humanoid it can reach. It will calm down when it goes to sleep. Other elk nearby have also become enraged. Let's actually get some hunting going of the female gender so they don't fight back. Don't fight back. Oh no. Oh no. They're all angry. Every single one of them. Kalamud, how fast can you run? 4.46. How fast can they run? 5. Oh no. We've got to get indoors. Calamander. Where can you run? Where can you run? You're going to get run down. Okay. First of all. Stop the hunt. Stop the hunt. Um, I'm going to put everybody together. Alright, we... 
Kelmet, just run. Just run. I'm gonna pull him out to the sandbags. Just run, Kalamanda. Run! Run, Kalamanda! Oh, Calm, you need to run faster than that, buddy. Oh, no. This could be bad. Run! Why are you going at such an angle? Oh, you're gonna get caught. You're gonna get caught. You're gonna get caught. Move faster, boys! Callum, no! He's getting destroyed. No! Okay, you're fine health-wise. But you're in extreme pain. We've got a dagger and a rifle. <sighs> what, do we, what do we do? What do we do? Callum's fine for the moment, but... He's gonna get infections! Oh, we don't have a good doctor! Oh no, oh no. Um... Oh gosh, need warm clothes. That's not why the matter is calling us needs a rescue. Could we sneak around the mountain and grab Calm? Because at the moment, I do not want to peek out. They're going to bash on our door. Calm's a builder, which means we can't repair the door unless... Okay, I'm just going to sign everybody to a four to repair stuff in case. Who's our rifle? All right, useless. You've got the shooting frenzy, that's right. Alright, Biscuit, right behind Useless. Right behind him, just in case. Alright, fire at will. Hit one. Hit another. Hit one. Alright, you're getting too far. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. No, they're in. They're in. Fight, Biscuit. Fight, Biscuit. Oh, they're just going to funnel in. Is this it? Is this it? The food crisis? Biscuit's not going to be able to hold the line much longer. Oh, his left thumb has just been destroyed. Which means he's going to be bleeding, going to get infection. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, um, um. He's not two, but there's still one, two, three, six remaining. Six! Six! <sighs> We've only done one. Calma, can you just get up, mate? Come on. All right, we're going to retreat. Come on, Biscuit. No, Biscuit! <laughs> and he's bleeding out, which means we have to rescue him. That door didn't close. It's all on useless. All right, we need to wait for the Elks to leave. Repair that door. Don't let them break it down. Don't let them break it. 30%. 20%. Oh. Repair, 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 repair. Foxy the monkey. Okay, you're fine. You're fine. They're not going to go after you. Of course the elk bodies block the door. Okay. Biscuit, you're... You're in the most danger. Alright, rescue Biscuit. Actually, no, wait... Wait for them to stray. Ooh, they're leaving. Where are they going? Go, 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 get biscuit, get biscuit! Get in, get in, get in! Close door! Yes, 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 yes. Repair, repair. Okay, we've got one. Don't break it down, bro. Don't break it down, bro. Oh, 45%! We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, they're coming in the back. Oh, they're coming in the back. Pair that door now. We just need to wait for these elk to go to sleep. That's all that matters. Alright. Um, um, um. Death in 21 hours. We, we can't... Why do we put our medicine over here? Oh, no, we've only got five over there. There's still 25 up here. Oh, we, we can't make that rush, though. We, we just gotta tend without any medicine. Please don't get infected. This gets no longer capable of walking. Good. Okay. Calamander, you're fine. 
You're fine. Don't worry. You're fine. This is stressful. Zero percent quality. You're up. You're up. You're up. You're up. You're up. They're still angry at you, though. Calamander. Okay. 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 Um. This guy died. He's asleep. It's just this one plus two back here. Okay. 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 We can deal with this. Calamander, go grab your rifle. Useless, stop tending. We just need to take out this one elk, which has already been hit in the left leg, meaning it's slower. Alright, let's make it happen. Oh, gee, it's not much slower. It's only 0.2 left. Useless, go. Go, useless. Shoot! No! Gosh, your index finger was destroyed. Shoot. Good. Good. Good! How's it not down? Good! Oh my god, useless. How good's your melee? One! <sighs> Hit him! Stun him! Good! We need to get Calamander in. You can't rescue him. Oh, you can. And you're not angry, are you? No. Alright, Biscuit, you need to go. Go, Biscuit. Rescue Calamander. Oh, no, Biscuit, you're the melee. Grab your knife, grab your knife. Grab your knife. Oh, no, it's dead. Okay, okay. Rescue, rescue, rescue. Go, go, go. These guys, okay, this one is still angry. We just have to watch him closely. And we can, we can tend to Calamander with proper medicine. Proper, 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 proper. Biscuit, um... No, 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 just, just, rest, rest, rest. No, um, stop, don't drop, Callum. <laughs> Rescue, Callum. <sighs> Major break, I know useless, but you need to, right now, to tend to you, to Callum. No, use the Callum, go. <laughs> tend, five medicine has been thrown into Callum. Hyperfermia's kicking in. Why? 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 It's negative five outdoors, 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, gee. Renny Random, he's throwing everything at us. I told you. I told you. He'd be coming after us. I knew it. Oh, yay. The psychic soothe ended. Woohoo. Oh, gee. Gee. Okay, you can minimally handle six degrees, seven degrees, and six. Okay, it's going to get cold. And all the elk are asleep, meaning they're no longer manhunted. In hunting. Gee whiz. Well, I think I'm gonna stop the episode here. Everybody's too tense to, and all the elk are either dead or asleep. Now we have a lot on our plate. Collins needs treatment. Useless. Um, I'm sure. You Actually, let's get that dealt with now. Yeah, rest. In no, you gotta, you gotta tend to yourself, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to cut the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh, Randy Random Cargo Pods. Oh, cool. He's given us cocaine. Thanks, Randy.